What's going on YouTube? This is Ryan with South Jersey Yak Fishing. Uh, it's Monday, it's July 15th, and uh, man, I am still flying high. I'm coming off the best sheep's head bite I've ever had over a weekend. I think I caught at least nine. I didn't even keep a single one for the dinner table. You know, I just kept saying, hey, I can get out during the week and catch one whenever I want. I'll just do that. Well, now it's time to put my money where my mouth is. I don't know what the fishing guides have in store for me tonight. Stick around and see if it's a skunk or a sheep. Hey everybody, this is Ryan with South Jersey Yak Fishing. Thanks once again for tuning in. Uh, this video was shot on July 15th of 2024, and this one's a meat mission. Uh, I have approximately two and a half hours to get fillets for this week's dinner, and if I'm feeling nice enough, I can catch an extra one for Captain Pat, as his boat's been out of commission for a little while now, so we're gonna see what we can do here today. This is actually the third day in a row following the previous two videos I posted. Uh, they were titled Epic Sheep's Head Bite, well, that bite was pretty good, and the bite in this video is pretty good as well. But next week, well, the videos I'm posting next week prove that I didn't really even know what an epic sheep's head bite really was until I went out on my last trip. I mean, we're talking insane. And the biggest fish? Well, that fish is going to end up being my new personal best from the kayak, a true donkey. Uh, that being said, there's also nine other sheep's head caught in next week's trip. Yeah, you heard that correctly. Ten sheep total in about a four-hour window. That's gonna end up being my best sheep's head trip ever to date. So make sure you tune in next week as that video is gonna be a good one and you don't wanna miss it. Okay, so the target is sheep's head, the bait is fiddlers, and we are gonna be fishing the later afternoon outgoing tide. Uh, we have dirty water with temps in the upper 60s and we have about a five to 10 mile an hour wind coming out of the south. And here we are arriving at the first piling. Okay, so here's a tip. When you're rinsing off your reels, uh, tightening the drag down helps to keep the salt water out of the top of the reel. This tip was given to me by the guys at the Penn Reel Repair Shop. However, it's important to remember to loosen your drag back down to the appropriate poundage. Uh, if you've ever tried to fight a big sheep with locked down drag, yeah, those 23, 24 inches feel like they're gonna pull you straight out of your yak. And anything larger than that will probably break you off. So just always remember to adjust your drag appropriately. All right, man, first piling, first drop, first bait. Um, there's a sheep, and he's in the middle of the water column, which I have not come across here yet this year. Um, definitely a sheep's head, no doubt. Let's see if we can get him now. It's about 10 feet down. Oh, what the hell just happened there? Oh my God, was that something with teeth? <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, yeah, I guess the sheep's head does have teeth, but not like the type of teeth that would do that. I mean, that just sheared me right off. Yeah, never like starting out a trip with a break off, but it happens. I'm still not sure if it was a small fish that hit my jig and structure that broke my line, or if it was something more like a blue fish with teeth. Whatever it was, it didn't slam my jig. Uh, I guess I'll never know. Alright, just had a fish take my jig and my bait. I mean, I don't know, man. Maybe whatever's down there, if I catch him, I'll have my jig. I want my jig back. <laughs> yeah, it would be nice to get my jig back, but that like never happens. Uh, I have seen one local YouTuber pull that off, but uh, it's not the norm. Oh. 
So the fish aren't all frenzied up right now. They're kind of taking half the crab, but not the whole hook. Um, this tends to happen when the bite's a little slower, but that's all going to change just like it always does as the bite develops. first taker and he looks like he's about uh, probably 18 maybe this might be my first keeper of the day um, I may keep two I might keep one for Pat Cat and Pat if I can catch two let's see let's see what the deal is with this guy Okay, so for those of you who are new to my channel, uh, I do release all sheep's head over 20 inches. Although there are currently no regulations in New Jersey, I have instituted my own, and the logic behind this is that the larger ones quite simply lay more eggs. Uh, this is just my individual attempt to promote the conservation of the species as well as the population growth. 17 and a half. Keeper! All right, that's one. Um, all right, so I'm going to bleed this guy out and uh, put him in my bag. I'm going to see if I can get another one for Pat. And then after that, I'm just fishing for fun. I'm not keeping more than two. I'm trying to respect the species. So I catch a lot of them. I try to release the 80 to 90% of my fish. So um, it's just what I need. So unfortunately, Captain Pat's boat's kind of out of commission right now. So he's definitely going to appreciate having these fillets. <sighs> Oh, he was right there. That was him. All right, man. Twice I missed that same fish. Third time's a charm. Let's throw him a little treat here. How are we going to get this guy? Are we going to get him? Just drop? There he is. Oh. This one's bigger. Wow. Wow. That's a nice one. Oh, he's too big to keep. He's over 20. This one's probably going back. Sorry, Pat. Yeah. Wow. He's a beast. What a beast. See if we can get him in the net. Wow, dude. Wow. Wow. Big ass fish. Whew. Man, he inhaled that. Look at the size of this fish, dude. That's probably a double digit right there. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Let's get a measurement on him, see how big he is. He looks like he's in the 22 inch range, maybe. Possibly 23. Nah, he's gonna be 22. Either way, he goes back according to my own rule. Let's get him in the water as quickly as possible.
Okay, so truth be told, at about 22 inches, it's probably not a double digit fish. In fact, I'm estimating probably about eight to nine pounds. We really don't hit double digits until I'm gonna say around 23, 24 inch range. Yeah, but don't worry about that. Next week's video is definitely gonna have a double digit in it. All right, man. This is probably a nine or a 10 pound sheep's head. It's hard to say really. I'm not gonna weigh him. I'm just gonna try and release him half healthy into the water. Come on, come on. Come on. You wanna take off for me, bud? Come on. Woo! Wow. Just gotta wait for it, man. That was rewarding. I love that part. <laughs> That's my favorite part. There he is. Oh, he came off. Son of a fish. <laughs> Sorry, I had to improvise. All right, I just dropped one. There he is. Big, still over 20. Damn it, I think this one's over 20. I think he's too big. Hopefully he's like 19 and a half, I don't know. Come on, fish for Pat. Oh yeah, Pat's a lucky fish. Look at that, 19 and a quarter. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, man, gotta love that. All right, um, complete this guy out, get back up to the piling. Now it's just catch and release. Nice fish. It's gonna make a good fly. All right. Got another one. Oh, this is a striper.
Oh wow, it's not a striper. That is a sheep's head and he's foul hooked. I thought for sure that was a striper. He's not even trying to fight now. Came in sideways. Woo! Damn, he's big. Sorry, pal. I didn't mean to do that to you. Alright, alright, I'm trying to get it out of you. Calm down, calm down. Damn, dude. <laughs> He's going crazy. <sighs> All right, so he's 19 and a half. Nice size fish. This one's going back. I don't need to keep any more. He's lively, so I probably shouldn't even have to do a long release here. Nice size sheep's head. Oh, I'm drifting the hell away here. I thought it was anchor lock. Let's fish back in the water here. Bye-bye. Okay, so that was the last fish on this trip. Uh, I did stay a little longer, but I stayed a little too long and I ended up having to pack up in the dark. All in all, it was a great trip. Uh, I secured fillets for myself and Captain Pat, so mission accomplished, uh, even though the bite still wasn't as good as it was the previous two days. But yeah, uh, make sure you catch the next full length video on South Jersey yak fishing. I mean, that bite was just sick. Uh, all right, so if you like this video and you want notification as to when the next one goes up, hit that like button, smash that notification bell, and uh, please consider supporting me by subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching.